One, two, three, four. <laughs> Hey fiddlers, welcome to today's fiddle video. Today we're gonna to be learning a beautiful traditional jig called Palm Sunday. I like to play it kind of slow. It's got this sort of melancholy feel and I hope you like it. If you like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune as well as the variation we're gonna to learn today, plus a harmony and also a chord chart, you can get a link in the description for those. All right, let's go ahead and learn the tune. First of all, let's figure out what key we're gonna be in so that we know where our left hand fingers are going to go. We're in the key of A Dorian, so let's go ahead and play an A Dorian scale. We're gonna start with that A down on the G string, so your first finger on the G. And it's gonna go one, two, three, D, one, two, that's the unexpected F sharp, three, A, and that's where we start over again. So we'll go A, one, two, low two, three, E, one, F sharp again, low two, three. All right, so that's the key we're in. Let's figure out our time signature. Palm Sunday is a jig, so we are in good old six, eight time. The feeling of the tune is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got our key, we've got our time signature, let's learn the tune. As I usually do, I'm gonna be teaching this tune by ear. We're gonna learn it by call and response. If you like sheet music, if you're a sheet music kind of person, again, I do have a link for that in the description below. What I'll do is I'll play a phrase of the tune, you can pause the video and try playing it back. I'll play that same phrase again, you can try again. Same phrase again, you can try again. And if you don't get it in the first three tries, you can always go back and retry. As with many fiddle tunes, this tune has an A part, which is the first half of the tune, and a B part, which is the second half of the tune, and we're gonna play each one of those two times. Let's start by learning the A part, and here is the first phrase. The first phrase of the A part starts with that first finger on the A string playing a B, and it'll go like this, one, Two, three, four. A little bit slower. One more time. The second phrase of the A part will start with your open A string and it'll go like this. One, Two, three, four. Slower. One more time. The third phrase 
piece of the A part is gonna start on your open E string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Slower. Once more. And the last phrase of the A part is going to start on your open E and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Once more. All right, we have now learned the entire A part. Let's give it a whirl all the way through. So remember, we're playing it two times through, starting with that first finger on the A string, and it goes da di da di da di da di da. One, two, three, four. first half of the tune, let's move on to the B part, the second half of the tune. The first phrase of the B part starts with your open E string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Slower. One more time. The second phrase of the B part starts with your low second finger on the E string playing a G natural and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. The third phrase of the B part starts with your open E string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Slower. Again. And the last phrase of the B part starts with the open E string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Slower. Again. So that does it for the B part, the second half of the tune. Let's try putting all those phrases together, playing the whole B part two times through. Remember it starts with the open E string, and it's gonna go da da dum ba da 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 da. One, two, three, four.
so now, at least in theory, we know the entire tune. Let's give it a try from the beginning. We're gonna play the A part twice, we're gonna play the B part twice. It's gonna start with that first finger on the A string, and it's gonna go da 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 One, two, three, four. If you'd like to try playing that up to speed with guitar backup, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. All right, so now we know the basic tune. Let's try learning a little variation on the tune. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a grace note and double stop to part of the tune. We're going to add a melodic variation to another part of the tune. We're going to kind of take notes out of a part of the tune and we're going to add a roll, which is an ornament. All right, so first let's look at the grace notes and double stops that we're going to add. Here's what it'll sound like in the first phrase of the tune. All right, so first let's talk about the grace note. What we're doing here is... So you might have heard that grace note in there. What we're doing is when we play that third finger note on the D string, we're playing a second finger grace note, a really quick second finger note on the way to the third finger. In one bow. So if we put that into that phrase, it'll go grace note, grace note, grace note. And here's where we're also gonna add a double stop. So a double stop is just playing two strings at the same time. As we're playing that grace note to the third finger, we're gonna also let our bow pick up the open G string below that. And I like to play it for just a split second. So here's how that'll sound. All right, so that's the first phrase. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a melodic variation. Here's how that's gonna sound. So instead of the phrase that would go, we're doing that melodic change. So the first little set of notes in that melodic variation is A, G sharp, A. So A, high third finger, A. And then we're gonna go to C, B, C. That's low two, one, low two on the A string. Then we're gonna play E, D sharp, E. That's E, high third finger on A, and then E. So that's. And in the phrase, it'll go like this. Then we just move on and play the rest of the A part normally. So let's try the A part variation two times through. Remember, we're gonna start with that grace note double stop thing. One, two, three, four.
let's try a couple variations in the B part. The variation we're doing at the beginning of the B part is another melodic variation. Essentially what we're doing though is we're just holding one long note and this is what it's gonna sound like. So this takes the place of the phrase that would go Instead, what we're doing is when we land on that third finger note, we're holding it for three beats. So it's gonna go like this. One, two, three. All right, that's the first phrase of the B part. The last thing we're gonna do to vary this tune is we're gonna add a roll. Here's what this phrase is gonna sound like with a roll. So the roll is that little you may have heard me talk about rolls before. They're a five note ornament, so it's a bit of a handful. Uh, but basically what we're doing is we're taking a principal note here. It's gonna be the G natural on the E string. So second finger, low second finger on the E. We're gonna play that principal note, the note above that note, back to the principal note, the note below that note, and the note we started with, the principal note. One, two, three, four, five. But our fingers are going Two, three, two, one, two. The timing of rolls might be different from musician to musician. This is how they sound like when I play them. So you can start really slow and gradually try increasing the speed. right at the beginning of the phrase, it's taking the place of those three notes, where it would go. Instead, we're going. And then we just play our way to the end of the tune. All right, so that's the whole entire B part. We'll try that two times through. Starting with that variation where we just hold one long note. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, three. starting from the top. One, two, three, four. If you'd like to try playing the variation all the way through up to speed with guitar backup, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. All right, fiddlers, that does it for today's video. I hope you liked this tune. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune and the variation that we learned today, you can find a link in the description for that. There's also a harmony, there's a chord chart, all kinds of good stuff. Have a wonderful day, happy fiddling, and I'll see you soon.